guys um karibu ni sana welcome back to my kitchen if you're a returning subscriber and if you're new here my name is Juliet Kale and i post a new recipe every week here on my blog on my insta on my twitter on my facebook kama kawaida so if it's your first time seeing me don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on new recipes and also don't forget to go down to the description box look at um, all the links i have left there for my social media platforms and the written recipe and just check it out and yeah i'll be really really grateful so from the title and yeah from the title we can see we are we'll be making fried chicken uh, fried chicken is like um because majority of you are kenyan so chicken in kind of chicken kfc kind of chicken and i want to walk you guys through the process which i marinated the chicken in some buttermilk and then we will come back here and we will make the coating coat the chicken and deep fry it i hope you guys will enjoy this recipe kama kawaida i always re leave a written recipe in the description box in case you're a bit hazy about all the different type of measurements here and you can check it out otherwise let's just get into the marination process okay, you can either use buttermilk or you can make diy buttermilk by adding about three tablespoons of vinegar the other alternative is squeezing in a fresh lemon a teaspoon of salt black pepper four cloves of garlic and about a finger of ginger i was also randomly given this tip i like to add some salt before i can crush my ginger and garlic it helps with making them softer and easier to um crush some paprika a bit of cumin turmeric chili powder you can also use fresh chilies and finally a herb of your choice today i'm going to be using rosemary just mix your meat nicely until everything is coated with the marinade and we are going to put this in the fridge for up to four hours if you have more time then you can do this overnight or even longer as long as it's in the fridge so let the longer it sits the better the aha so to memaliza kumarinate the chicken is resting and in the meantime you can be making your coating so for the coating i'm going to be using self-raising flour um, in case you don't have self-raising flour you can use all-purpose flour and then you will add one tablespoon of baking powder to every um one cup of flour so here we'll be using two cups of flour come on to me all-purpose flour add two tablespoons of baking powder the baking powder helps the coating become even more crunchy there's just something it does to the coating and also instead of just using um flour i'll also be adding about one cup of breadcrumbs because the breadcrumbs bring in a different texture as you guys know unga is a bit fine breadcrumbs crumbs are a bit rough so when you mix the two then you get the perfect texture about one teaspoon of salt would be enough remember we also seasoned the chicken so you don't need too much seasoning here i'm also going to be cracking in some fresh black pepper like if you don't have chicken masala you can use your favorite um combination of meat of If you don't have chicken masala, you can use your favorite spice mix, either garam masala or just any of your favorite spice mix. You can also mix together some coriander and cumin. I'm also going to be adding some paprika and chili powder. To finish off my coating, I'm also going to be adding about one tablespoon of roiko. You guys know I love roiko. I love the nost 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 nostalgia, yes nostalgia of reiko because you know as kids in kenya everyone knew reiko and finally i'm going to be adding some rosemary and this is ready for my chicken and then i want you guys i picked this up from tasty tasty videos they usually divide their hands into two <laughs> that makes sense like you use one hand to hold the wet chicken one hand to hold the breadcrumbs and make sure your hands don't mix that way you'll end up not getting lumps when you you're dusting because normally if you use the same hand you'll end up wasting a lot of flour and maybe um end up getting some lumps in your chicken so you pick with one side put it in the mixture use the other hand to dust and then once it's dusted you remove 
meaning your hand is clean, there are no lumps here, and your other hand can do the rest of the work. So heat up your oil and to test whether your oil is hot enough, I like to put in my muiko and when it begins to bubble immediately like that, then you know that your oil is hot enough and it's ready for your chicken. So once your chicken is in, I'm going to need you to reduce your heat to medium-low heat so that your chicken can cook slowly and so that it can cook all through. We have officially come to the end of this video. It smells so good. I can smell the rosemary, I can smell the chicken, I can smell all the spices. It's nice and crunchy and I'm sure on the inside it's really nice and moist. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do try this recipe, don't forget to ooh, give me your feedback either in the comment section or you can um, go to my social media and tell me, send me photos. I love seeing your photos. Samakawa, don't forget to like, to share with someone who likes chicken and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!